In this demo, I'll show you some of Copilot's top features that can really benefit Cypress test automation developers. First up, assertions. Copilot makes it super easy to write your assertions in plain English. The complexity of the assertion is no problem at all. Picture this. We've got a web element called name, and we want to make sure the text is less than 50 characters, contains no numbers, and each word starts with a capital letter. And after 5 seconds, the field starts blinking and then explodes in flames. Unrealistic, totally, but let's see what Copilot comes up with. Kaboom! Copilot has verified the explosion. Let's break down the response. The text is under 50 characters. There are no numbers. Each word starts with a capital letter. Then after 5 seconds it starts blinking, and 5 seconds after that, it turns into an explosion.gif. Okay, I don't have a blinking and exploding web page so I can't confirm those last bits, but it's a promising start. Next up, let's generate some test data. Copilot can whip up data sets based on rules or syntax. For example, let's create an array of invalid social security numbers. Just like that, you've got a great starting point. This approach works for all kinds of structured data, zip codes, international formats, bank account numbers, you name it. Now, let's level up and create an entire test with Copilot. I've got a target page with four fields, and I need a test to validate social security numbers. Here's the HTML source code for the page. Now let's give Copilot a prompt. Write a test to check for invalid social security numbers and fill in other fields with valid data. We'll also include the index.html file in the prompt. Looks good, I'll tweak the web page address, then run the test. Awesome, it passed. Let's try feeding it some incorrect values to ensure the assertions trigger as expected. Always verify Copilot's code to ensure it behaves how you expect. The tests passed again. That's not quite right. It looks like the error message is always on the page, so I'll add a page reload between tests. A quick fix, sure, but it works for this demo. There we go. The test is failing as it should when the invalid values are present. Code assistance can also help fix mistakes. If you've seen my other videos, you know I love testing Copilot with intentional errors. This time, I'll rename the test with a misleading title to see how it handles it. Spot on, Copilot flagged the mismatch. The description says valid, but the test actually checks invalid inputs. Let's switch gears. Copilot can explain tricky syntax like regex patterns. Watch as it breaks down this social security number regex. Great explanation. It understood immediately that this regex is validating social security number format. For beginners, Copilot can also help generate locators. Let's ask it to show different ways to locate a web element. A variety of options to choose from, ID, class, attribute, tag, and label. 
Once your tests are ready, Copilot can review the code and offer suggestions. While not all suggestions will apply, they make you think critically about your code. Reload makes the code slower. True, but we need it anyway. Rewrite invalid should exist for better readability, worth considering but test thoroughly after changes. Change should not have class to check for a success class, may be a good idea. If you need documentation for your tests, Copilot can create it instantly, a real time saver. Finally, let's set up this magic in your dev environment. Head to Visual Studio Code's extensions and search for GitHub Copilot. They offer a 30-day free trial, and after that it's paid, cancel anytime if it's not for you. And that's a wrap. If you enjoyed this tutorial, share it with your testing crew. Thanks for tuning in.